Inflation in Turkey has been very high, especially for the last four to five years. Prices have skyrocketed as the economy has deteriorated. Hundreds of protesters took to Turkey's Istanbul streets, rallying against price hikes and the ongoing economic crisis, as the economy currently suffers from surging inflation level of 48.7%. We feel it. I have three kids and I'm having a hard time meeting the needs of my children. In another notch of labor's belt, drivers at Turkish e-commerce giant Trendyol refused management's offer of an 11% pay hike went on strike and won 38.8% wage increase. While 30% plus wage gains appear extremely impressive in many parts of the world, in Turkey they don't even keep up with the cost of living. I bought a house and took out a loan, and I'm having difficulty in paying the installments. The Turkey's currency lost more than 40% of its value against the United States dollar last year, following successive central bank interest rate cuts championed by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. According to the Labour Studies Group, at least 56 workers' strikes broke out in Turkey between January 12th and February 10th. That compares to 84 strikes the government tracked between 2016 and 2020. The government raised the minimum wage at the start of this year by 50%. But that gain has been largely offset by the government's decision to switch to a graduated tariff system that substantially hikes prices for natural gas and electricity, a move that triggered protests in cities across the country.